today's video i am going to apply bessel's formula to find y25 given y20 value is given y24 y28 and y32 values are given so before using this bessel's formula we have to frame this forward difference table so these 20 24 28 32 are the x values and these are the corresponding y values so now the first difference will be so we have to frame this y2 minus y1 so this will be 3162 minus this is 2854 the value here is 308 the next one is 3544 minus this is 3162 the value here is 382 the next value here is 3 sorry 3992 minus this is 3544 the value here is 448 the next one here the second difference will be 382 minus this is 308 the value here is 74 the next one here is this is 448 minus this is 382 the value here is 66 and now we have to subtract 74 minus 66 that is 66 minus 74 the value here is minus 8 y2 minus y1 so this is the forward difference table now we have to find out the value of so which value is needed y at 25 so here x is equal to 25 the value x is equal to here x is equal to 25 the nearest value will be x naught so for 25 the nearest value is x naught so 24 is the nearest value see here y naught is equal to 24 and h value is equal to y x2 minus x1 that is 32 minus 28 the value will be 4 so next one here is bessel's interpolation formula so b for by so we have to take two values and single value again two values and single value whereas for the sterling's formula sterling s for single single double single double here double single double single see here x is equal to this value is x naught plus p into h so what is our x value x is equal to this value is 25 x naught is equal to 24 p into the h the difference is 4 this is 25 minus 24 is equal to the 4 p so this is 1 is equal to the value here is 4p and p is equal to 1 by 4. Therefore, p value is equal to this is 0 0.25. So our p value is nothing but 0. Point. So this value is nothing but 0 0.25. Now we have to apply the Bessel's formula. For the Bessel's formula, I am writing the Bessel's formula here. So, before writing that, so we have to keep certain things in mind. So, this is 0 and this is 1. So, if I write this in a decreasing order, this is minus 1 and this is minus 2. 1 here. The decreasing order is 0 and this is minus 1. In between, I am writing minus 1. Now, if you observe, we have to take double values and next single, double, single and double, single. So, here these are the y values. So, this is y. This is the first difference. This is the second difference. This is the third and this value it is 4. And the next value here is we have to remember 0. This is 1 minus 1. This is 2 minus 2. So, in front I am writing minus half. So, these are all the values which you should keep in mind. So, I will use all these for writing this Bessel's formula. So, Bessel's formula will be yp is equal to. So, this is y. So, this will be y0 plus y1 divided by 2. Plus, and the next one is, so single half I am taking. That is p minus half by 1 factorial into. So, this is the first difference delta y minus 1. And the next one is, I am leaving this. I am leaving this half and I am selecting these two. That is 0, 1. I am selecting these two values. 0 and 1. Now, this will be p minus 0 into this is p minus 1 by 2 factorial into. This is the second difference value. That is delta square y minus 1. And this is again delta square y naught divided by 2. And the next one again, I am rejoining this one half. 
and I am taking three values that is half 0 1. So this will be half. So this will be p minus half. So this is p minus 0. This is p minus 1 by after 3 factorial this will be delta cube. So after double we have to take this single value that is third difference of y this is minus 1 plus and again I am closing this half and I am taking these four values. Which four values I am taking? I am taking this 1, 2, that is 2, that is 0, 1, minus 1 and 2. So these values I have to write. That is P minus 0. So this is P minus 1. So this is P minus of minus plus 1 and this is P minus 2. So this is P minus 2 by after 3 factorial this is 4 factorial into these 2. The fourth difference value that is delta power 4 y minus 2 and this is delta power 4 y minus 1 divided by 2 plus and so on. So here I have calculated the P value. So what is our P value here? So P value is nothing but. So this is nothing but 0 0.25. So we got our p value as 0 0.25. Now I'll substitute all the values. So y p value is equal to. See here y at which value we need y at 25. So this is 25. So this value is 25 is equal to y naught plus y1 by 2. So these are all the double values. So this is y naught and this is y1. 3162 plus 3544 divided by 2. See here, this is 3162 plus 3544 by 2 plus this is P minus half. What is P value? This is 0 0.25 minus half value is nothing but 0 0.5 into here delta Y minus 1. Next single value is 382. So this value is 382 next plus so this is p minus 0 what is our p here this is 0 0.25 <coughs> minus 0 and this is 0 0.25 minus 1 by 2 factorial into next single next double 74 plus 66 by 2 this is a 74 plus a 66 divided by 2 plus the next value here is this is p minus half so what is this p what is this 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5 and this is p what is this p this is 0 0.25 and this is 0 0.25 minus 1 divided by 3 factorial is nothing but 6 into delta cube of minus 1 this is again minus 8 now y at 25 value will be see if i use this can see this is 6 3162 plus this is 3544 divided by 2. The value is 3353 3. minus. So this value will be 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5 into this is 382. The value here is 95. So this is 95.5. And the next one if you see this is a negative value. So this value will be negative. See if I multiply here 0 0.25 into this is 0 0.75 into this value is into this is a 74 plus a 66 divided by 4. The value here is this is a 6.5625 and the next value if you see this is negative. And this is negative, positive, positive into negative is again negative. And see here, this will be 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 into, this is 0 0.75 into 8 divided by 6. The value here is 0 0.0, this is 625. And now, let me calculate this one. Double three five three minus ninety five point five minus this is a six point five six two five minus this is zero point zero six two five. The value here will be so y at uh, this one which value it is twenty five. Y at twenty five value is three two five zero point eight seven five. So which is approximately 
y at 25 value is 3 to 5 1 so this is how we have to calculate so this is the easy way also to remember the formula and substitute all these values so by section b verb we have to take double single double single values and we have to frame this forward difference table we have to calculate the p value and again we have to write this formula and again we have to substitute all the values from the table and after calculation we got the value so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching so um, I'll be uploading my next topic very soon. Until then, practice. And if you really like, you know what to do. Please take time to raise your thumb. Pass it on to your friends. Thank you so much.